Hello, I'm Kelsey Willis here with Robert Miller, bringing you guys an exclusive to Residence Hall Studios and Housing 12. We are here with Will Packer, producer of Ride Along and the star of Ride Along, Ice Cube. Welcome, guys. Thanks Thank for you. Coming. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay, well, I guess uh, first question is, uh, Cube, you've played in a variety of roles, like, you know, mm -hmm. everything from Three Kings to, you know, Are We There Yet to Ride Along. Uh, what's, how do you choose, like, which roles that you like the best to do? Um, you know, I, I just really look at the project, you know, from an overall standpoint, you know, mm -hmm. who's putting the project together, yeah. uh, you know, uh, because a good script is not all you need. You know, you need great producers, you know, we got Will Packer here, uh, great directors, great co-stars, great studio to push the movie, because you could do a great movie and if the studio don't get behind it to push it, mm -hmm. then you just have a great movie that people see uh, on pay-per-view. So, <laughs> you know, it's really all about, you know, seeing if the project has a great chance to, to get off the ground. And then, you know, last but not least, you know, can I be effective in the role and, and will I be able to convey what's, what's being, you know, asked of me and, um, you know, so those are some of the things I think about before I take a role. Well, for both of you, what led to your involvement in this movie specifically, right along? Well, you know, I, I can say actually it was Cube that brought me in because um, I had done a film called Think Like a Man, and I had worked with Kevin Hart and also Tim Story, who directed this film. Mm -hmm. And Tim Story had also directed Barbershop with Cube. And I got the script from Cube's team and read it and loved it and had the opportunity to bring the guys that I had just worked with on board to this film. So, uh, because you know, Cube also produced this film with me. So, it was a chance for me to work with somebody whose work I had admired from afar, but we hadn't had a chance to work together yet. It was a chance for me to show him how I execute a film project. It was our first time, but definitely won't be our last. And uh, it really was about the material. I saw the potential in the material, and I knew if you put these two guys together, First of all, Cube's track record is crazy when it comes to working with comedians. You know, up-and-coming comedians, they work with Cube, and all of a sudden, you know, they're no longer up-and-coming. So um, I knew that this would be another one of those opportunities to have great chemistry. And the script was about, you know, two guys that are, uh, you know, kind of opposites in a way. That's always a good formula for comedy. And uh, I thought that if we executed it well, it could be special, and I think it is. All right. Uh, what are you most excited for people to see in Ride Along? The chemistry between me and Kevin Hart, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> that's really what these movies hang their hat on is the chemistry. Uh, we knew the chemistry of 48 Hours, we know the chemistry of Lethal Weapon. Bad uh, Boys. Bad Boys. Everybody's trying to capture that, uh, you know, the, the two actors playing off each other and, uh, you know, giving you a whole lot of fun, a whole lot of laughs. and. You know, we deliver. You know, Kevin is crazy, uh, and it's hard to keep <laughs> to keep him, uh, you know, under control. And, and you know, my character is trying to, but but uh, it's a hard task to do. So, you know, I think that's what we hang our hat on is the, the chemistry of this new duo that's funny and, and ready to do it. It seems like you kind of touched on that a little bit, but it seems like you play a more straight laced character. Um, how would you describe your character in the movie overall? You know, he's a, kind of a tight ass a little bit, you know what I mean? He he really uh, is focused on, you know, handling this big case. You know, he's on this big case, you know, he's you know, he's taking care of his sister, you know, in a way he's been watching her for for you know, a lot of years and he just don't see her with somebody like Kevin Hart. You know, he see her with, you know, Atlanta Hawk and Atlanta Brave. You know what I mean? Atlanta Falcon. You know, not a mascot. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know what I mean? That's really kind of his angle is that he sees his his uh, sister with somebody bigger and better than Kevin Hart. And, uh, you know, Kevin Hart ain't having it. You know what I mean? He's the man. He, he, he wants to marry my sister. And, and I, try to, I try to put him through hell and back, you know what I mean, on a ride on Successfully, he <laughs> succeeds. Trust me. It seems like there's a lot of room for improv in a lot of the scenes. Just looking at the trailer and a lot of the banter. Did did was there a lot of improv going on, and how did you guys balance that in shoots? 
it, you know, it's 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 measure. You know, the script was great. The 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 uh, the dialogue is right there on the page. So all you gotta do is add a little bit of sugar and spice to it. You know what I mean? A little a little salt and pepper to what's already there, and and voila. So uh, some, but not a lot. But you know, uh, when we did go, we we had fun with it, and you know, this this movie is measured. It's it's nice. You know, you have great script, but also us with the flexibility to go off script if we need to make it that much funnier. And uh, you know, so we we did all those things required to me to to, to pull it off. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, you've had obviously um, a legendary music career, uh, and then on top of that, now you know you've had Friday Barbershop, you know this movie. Like, what is one aspect at the end of the career that you really want to be remembered for? You know, just somebody who. Um, you know, kind of let my creative juices flow. You know, I, I didn't really let the industry kind of, you know, uh, pigeonhole me into being what they wanted me to be. You know, I always looked at what I did as, you know, uh, you know, even the music as, you know, uh, a, a form of entertainment that everybody can enjoy. You know, and with movies, you can even go that much further. You know, so um, to me, that's really what it's all about. It's all about. You know, spreading your wings, showing your talent. That's what I've been trying to do over the years and uh, not letting that stop me. For the two of you who've mentioned that you guys are both have a hand in producing the film, what kind of angle do you take as a producer versus a writer or an actor or a director when choosing what films to get involved in? Well, you know, a lot of people don't really know what a producer does. And, and the producer is kind of like the, um, the coach. Of the football team, you know, your director's your quarterback. He's got the ball in his hands every play. He's out there and he's got to make it happen. And, and the coach is responsible for putting together the team around your quarterback and including your quarterback to make sure that you can win the game. So, for me as a producer, it's about you know, Q talked earlier about the right combination, and you have to have that right combination. You got to have the right actors. You got to have the right material, the studio, the director. All of that is what makes a project work. Sometimes you can have everything lined up right and it still doesn't work. It's just the nature of the movie business. But you know what? That's exciting to me. Like I see that as a challenge. And I, I enjoy uh, this side of the business because I get to be creative. A lot of times people don't think of producers as creative, but you actually you are creative because you have to help get the material to a certain place. You know, it's all about reaching out to the right actors. You know, obviously we already had Cube. We brought in Kevin. We needed to have the right talent around them to help what they do, you know, even better. Um, and so, I, for me, it's about the challenge of, of putting together the right team. Like, that's exciting to me. Um, you know, producers, you know, producing is where all the action is, to be honest. It's exactly where you want to be if you're a creative person because you want to be in those meetings when they're talking about um, the wardrobe and the set design and. You know, you want to be in there when they're talking about hiring this actor, that actor. Uh, you want to be involved in all aspects of the movie or, or film or stage or whatever you're doing. Uh, and, and being a producer is the vantage point you really want to be able to, to you know, have a say in, in every aspect of the movie. Uh, you know, sometimes even more than, than directors, most of the time more than, than directors. Uh, you know, on this movie, you know, being with somebody like Will, I was able to kind of take my producer hat and kind of put it to the side a little bit and really worry about just acting and delivering the part. And, you know, that was a luxury that, that you know, I had on this movie that, you know, we had great producers who, you know, um, was doing their thing. And, and, you know, sometimes you don't want too many cooks in the kitchen. So, you know, uh, you got to also know when to take a back seat or when to get in where you fit in and actually, um, you know, take the reins where you have to. And, uh, you know, we've all worked together and, and you know, we've developed a great chemistry on, uh, on how to work together. So I can't wait till we get to the next movie because uh, it would be that much better. So would you say that given the option uh, between acting and producing, like say uh, you had an option of just 
being an actor in a movie that you thought was really well put together, or you could, you know, be behind the scenes, like, you know, production, everything, but you're not in the movie. Is that the route that you would go? I would probably go the producing route yeah. because it's just, you know, as an actor in a movie, it's cool, you know, you have fun, but you're pretty much a tool for somebody's uh, project of, of their vision on really how they see it, and you have to really, you know, kind of uh, become part of the team on that level. And But I'm always itching to know what's going on in the meetings who, you know, uh, and, and so producing is probably where I get the most satisfaction to be, you know, and look at the project and, and have the most satisfaction. Well, just as a closing, what do you want, expect fans to get out of the movie right along? There is a special screening tonight for the University of Georgia campus. What do you want people to get out of the film? I, I just want them to laugh so hard that they, you know, hurt themselves. There you go. You know, um, there you go. Snap bubbles laughing. <laughs> fall out in the aisle, you know. Pee a little bit, you know. Yeah. Just a little <laughs> bit, you know. <laughs> you know, definitely uh, just have a good time. The movie is one of those movies where, you know, from from the opening scene, you know, okay, this is this is what you go to the movies for, you know, this is what you pay your money for is this kind of experience and enjoy the ride. I couldn't have said it better. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Thanks for having us, guys. No yeah. problem. And for everyone else who can't make the screening, Ride Along will be in theaters January 17th, 2014.